Recursion to group sum 6. Given an array of ints, is it possible to choose a group of some of the ints beginning at the start index, such that the group sums to a given target? However, with the additional constraint that all sixes must be chosen, no loops needed. <clears throat> so let's go over the sample cases first. So here, um, it says, like the problem statement says, we have to use this six, and then we will um, choose any other combination of the rest of the ints to create 8. And of course, 6, 2, and 2 will sum up to 8, so this will return true. Here, again, we have to use 6, and then we have to use a combination of the others, 5 and 2, to somehow create the target sum 9. As you can see, any grouping of 5 and 2 along with 6 will not create 9. 6 and 2 sums up to 8, 6 and 5 sums up to 11, and 6, 5, and 2 sum up to 13, and neither, um, none of them sum up to 9, so we can successfully return false. Next, here we have 7, if we have to, and we have to use 6. Um, just It's pretty obvious that this is not possible, because if we use 6, that means that the rest of the integers have to sum up to 1. Um, and as you can see, all of these are greater than 1, so it's impossible to have some kind of combination of these that are 1, so this will again return false. So this problem is very similar to the previous recursion 2 problem, which was group sum. And if you want to understand the actual recursion, um, the solid recursion behind how all this works, then check out the previous video. Um, these are just the key insights that we discussed in the previous video, but if you want some explanation, then watch that first. So this problem is really similar to that problem. All we just need to do is add the additional case that if we are at 6, then we do not have a choice to not use the int. As you can see, it says that all 6s must be chosen. So that means that our choices for any item that is a 6 is only use the int. We can never use this choice. Additionally, just because, um, in the previous problem, we said that if the target sum ever becomes 0, then we'll return true. This was because um, the previous problem was just saying if there's any grouping, the sums up to the target sum, then return true. Here, however, we need to consider all the 6s in the array. For example, let's say that this was 5. If we use a previous method and just modified it so that we use all 6s, then we will have an error because here we will look at 5 and we will say, oh, the target sum 5 minus 5 is 0. That means that we return true. But as you can see, that's obviously not the case because we had to use 6. As a result, even if the target sum is 0, we still have to iterate through the entire array so that we can consider all of these 6s before we check if the target sum equals 0. Um, so let's actually implement that. Um, so here, we only stop if the star equals nums.length, or we, have done, we are done iterating through the array. So here is that base case, like so. And if we are at the end of the array and our target sum equals zero, that means that we have successfully chosen a grouping, considering all of the, considering all of the sixes that um, sums up to the target sum, so we can return true. If that's not the case, then we have to return false. Now that we're done with the base case, let's do the recursion. So our recursion is if um, the item at um, index start equals 6, then our only choice is to use that 6 and then continue on with the recursion. This would mean that we continue on with the array by doing start plus 1. We of course keep nums the way it is, but then we have to use that 6, so we do target minus num start. This just means if it equals 6, we have to use it, therefore we use it here, and we cannot just use a choice, don't use it, because again, we have to. If um, the item at start is not equal to 6, then we have a choice of using the int or not using the int. So that would mean that here, like the pre previous problem, we don't use it and we keep the target sum the way it is, or we continue on with the array um, and then we do use the item at index start. Like so. If you need a better explanation of this recursion, 
um, beyond just why they, how we modified it for the 6, then check out the previous problem again. So there it is, let's see if it works. Yep, 